Hey there, welcome back. Today, we are here to guide you through the crucial step of the visa interview for studying abroad. In this session, we'll cover basic questions commonly asked during these interviews, ensuring you're well prepared for this important stage of your journey. With our guidance, you'll feel more confident and ready to tackle the visa interview process head on. Let's get started. First up, student background. Education. Students should mention the highest qualification and offer to show their certificates. Backlogs. Students should mention the right information about backlogs, but to convince the officer, students must be confident and mention the current experience. Past experience. Students should mention the past experience if they are recent graduates. They can mention internship experience or their work experience. Parent details. Students should mention all the family members. If you are married and the spouse name is mentioned in any of your documents, then please don't hide. Occupation. Officer can ask about the occupation of family members. So students should answer accordingly and also the family's annual income can be mentioned in this answer. But only if they ask, otherwise not. Siblings. Students should be truthful about the right information. If any of their real blood siblings are living in the US, it has to be mentioned while answering. Ideal answer could be, yes officer, my real sister is studying in the US, but I will be staying at the university accommodation for the entire duration of my program. Maternal relatives in America. Although a student is having a relative in America, it has a negative impact on the interviewer. If the interviewer asks about your relatives, then always say no. Ideal answer could be, no, I don't have any maternal relatives or friends living in the US. Student has a friend living there and studying in an American university, always say no. Why is your GRE or TOEFL score low? In case your score was not very impressive, give following reasoning. I took the test during my college examinations, so I was unable to study properly for it. The low score is mainly because of the verbal section, but I've performed well in the quantitative section. Have you ever been to the US before and the reason for travel? If a student has been to the US before, yes officer, I've been to the US once. I was there with my family for a vacation and we were there only for a week. If a student has never been to the US before, no officer, this will be my first time visiting the US. Denied entry. In the past, if a student got a US visa rejection, they would always mention it to the visa officer. Sponsor. Fun details. Ideal answer should be, my parents are my primary sponsors. They are funding my education through savings, worth amount X. Additionally, we have secured an educational loan worth X amount. Apart from that, we have already paid X amount towards the first year tuition fee. For example, as a proof, students should carry all the financial documents along with the statement of finances. Your ideal answer should be within 15 to 20 seconds. Please mention the correct source of funds, whether it's a loan or sponsored by parents or relatives. What could be a vague or incorrect answer in this case? My family has some money saved and I plan to take up a job on campus to cover some of my expenses. How will the student manage the first year tuition fee and who is sponsoring the education expenses? Ideal answer. The first year cost of my program is X amount. My parents are sponsoring my education through savings or loan. The ideal answer should be between 7 to 10 seconds. Wake or incorrect answer. My first year cost is listed in my statement of finance. Here is my bank statement to show my ability to fund. About the country and university. Why did you choose to study in the US? Why not the UK, Canada or Australia? Ideal answer could be US universities are renowned for their quality education and well-structured programs. Also, they provide ample research opportunities as well. American universities provide a strong foundation of theoretical knowledge as well as emphasize on building practical skills. The global exposure provided by these universities will help me find better career prospects. A vague or incorrect answer could be, because there are good schools in the US and I will have good job opportunities in the US after completion of my program. How many universities did you apply for? Ideal answer could be, I applied to X number of universities, 
both admits and rejects with one USP of each university. A vague or incorrect answer could be, I applied to multiple universities. How many offer letters have you received? Ideal answer could be, out of X universities, I have received admit from Y universities, out of which I am planning to go with Z university. Rather than naming all the colleges, students should prefer to give them a number of universities to not exceed the length of the answer, which should be about 5 to 10 seconds. A vague or incorrect answer could be, I applied to as many as possible so that I could ensure that I get into a US university. Why are you going to this specific university? Ideal answer should be, I am interested in the field called social informatics and more specifically social media mining. This university offers me courses and a wide range of electives that perfectly aligns with my interests. Other universities do not offer separate courses related to this field. Also, I want to work with Dr. ABC who is pursuing his research on how to detect fake news on social media sites such as Facebook and Instagram. Apart from this, I considered the rank, coursework and research conducted by the professors at the university. A vague or incorrect answer could be, I chose this university because it was recommended to me by a few of my friends who are already studying there. I easily got admit in this university and hence I chose this university because my main goal is to go to the US. Course details. Why this course? Ideal answer should be, I'm going to come back and work with an employer as a business analyst since the demand for this profession is increasing in my home country. In the future, I wish to start a business analytics firm of my own. That's why I've chosen this course as it will help me to grow my skills. This should be answered between 15 to 20 seconds. A vague or incorrect answer could be, I chose this major as I thought it will help me set up well to get a well-paying job. In case the student is switching domains, reason for the same should be given. Ideal answer should be, I have decided to change my domain after my graduation as I have been working in X company where I have taken Y courses and learned basic knowledge and techniques and I believe that the experience which I have gathered has given me enough knowledge to get into the field I am switching to. I now wish to study this program at X university so that I can get professional guidance and certification. This should be answered between 20 to 25 seconds. A vague or incorrect answer could be I will be getting a well-paying job upon completion of this program from the US, hence I've decided to go for it. Any specific professor you want to learn under and why? Ideal answer should be, I have read several papers that have emerged from research conducted at this university. I've also read about Professor X and their knowledge and research which impressed me. I will get to learn a lot from their knowledge and experience and maybe I will do research with him or her. You should also mention if you have been in touch with the professor or have attended any seminar they might have conducted. This should be answered between 20 to 25 seconds. They can also ask you about the names of famous alumni who have passed from that university. A vague or incorrect answer could be, during my research, I got to know that all the professors at the university are very knowledgeable and experienced and I would like to learn from them. Why is the university giving scholarships? An ideal answer could be, based on my good academics, the university offered me X amount of scholarship, although I have enough funding to cover the cost of the program. The ideal answer should be answered between 5 to 10 seconds. A weak or incorrect answer could be, I had applied for the scholarship to get a discount on the fee. Why is the same course not going by our trends? Ideal answer? That's the reason I've selected this niche course because in the coming two to three years, this industry will boom in my home country according to the research that I've conducted. Future plans. What are your future plans? Ideal answer? I plan to get my degree from X university and return to my home country and try to get a job in this sector. I have already shortlisted a few companies. You can mention the company names. And I look forward to coming back and being with my family. This should be answered within 15 seconds. A vague or incorrect answer could be, my plan is to graduate and get a job in the same field in the US after completion of the program. Long term, 
and short term goals ideal answer my short term goal is to complete my education from a well reputed university and achieve a degree which will hold a good value in my home country and my long term goal is that i see myself working at a top company as x and settle down here in india with my family or work in a startup ideal duration 20 seconds vague or incorrect answer could be my short term goal is to complete my degree and my long term goal is to get a high paying job what will you do in your long vacations ideal answer i will come back to my home country during a long vacation the alternate answer for students who have 1 to 3 years of work experience if i get a chance i will do a research assistantship in my university which will help me gain practical experience through this if you come to india what will you do ideal answer i plan to get my degree and return to my home country and hope to get a job in the same sector it's my dream to work in the same sector you can mention two to three company names or can mention if a student has any startup plans and i look forward to coming back to india me with my family this should be answered between 5 to 10 seconds vague or incorrect answer i have not decided yet regarding my job but my plan is to come back and settle with my family ties to home country and asset details an ideal answer could be i'm from a business family and we have been living in this city for the last x years so i want to support my family business where i can add value through my expertise and modern business skills hence i plan to come back and live with them here post my studies your answer should be between 10 to 15 seconds a vague or incorrect answer could be my ultimate goal is to come back to india and settle here if a student is already working in india then why is the student leaving their job and going for studies an ideal answer could be i'm going to come back and work with my employer as a business analyst since the demand for this profession is growing in my home country in the future i wish to start a business analytics firm of my own a vague or incorrect answer could be to get a high paying job i need to get a us degree are you going to use your opt visa extension no i'm very clear about it i will come back to my home country and already have plans of starting something of my own that's the reason i'm going for this course if your visa gets rejected what will you do ideal answer could be officer i completely respect your decision if the visa gets rejected but i think i should be granted a visa because i'm very much determined to study ahead i'm clear on my goals and i have the required funds to sponsor my education a vague or incorrect answer could be i will reapply for the visa and then appear for the visa interview again so that was it we hope you learned some meaningful insights from this conversation about us visa application process we'll see you in the next one till then like comment and share this video with someone who may need it